Morning. So there were some low expectations heading into this one, and it looks like a pretty solid beat for Pepsi overall. I'll give you the headline numbers here. Earnings per share, 161. Analysts were looking for 152, so that's a solid nine-cent beat. Revenue also coming in slightly higher than expectations, 16 billion. The estimate was about 16 billion. As for the uh, metrics that go inside, which you really have to look below the top line on Pepsi, they have two businesses, snacks and beverages, Frito-Lays, Joe's favorite. Maybe, Joe, you contributed here. Organic revenue growth for Frito up 4%. I don't eat them. I just love them. The toes. Yeah, the toes. Frito, I love all Dorito. the toes. It's not a bad toe. No, they're, they're all good toes. Tostitos. The expectation was only up 2.8. North American beverages, okay. though, are not doing too hot. And this was the worry going into the quarter. Down 1% organic revenue growth. And analysts there were looking for actually slight positive number because executives have been telling us over the last few quarters that that was set to improve. So it looks like they're still having a little bit of trouble. When you talk about organic growth, don't you get confused with whether you're talking about... Food organic? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, get confused with... Uh, you mean growth without acquisitions. Correct. I'm not or talking about the, impact. the fufu, it's... kale, chips, and Andrew eats, the organic stuff. That... <laughs> only with a food company. Yeah, no. right. You hope. No, but that's where the growth is. Okay. Organic growth. Right, in and the private segments. label for millennials that don't want to admit they have anything their parents ate, or, or I don't know, what, what, right? Right. Annie's macaroni and cheese. And Which stuff. is now owned by General Mills, yeah. And Look at you. Doing... See, that's why you're this here. Why you that's why you're here. I, I know. I, I say anything. We, don't, we haven't prepared this at all. You're amazing. Well, that's packaged good. food has been a pretty weak sector. And it's been weak in the markets. It's been right. weak in terms of growth. So to see 4% organic revenue growth from a company like Pepsi and Frito is strong. The problem is they're also half a beverage company. And that's where the struggle is, having trouble in some of the sports drinks. This quarter they, they launched Gatorade Zero, for instance. So they're trying to innovate around this. Um, but consumers, millennials, Joe, are going to smaller, more interesting brands when yeah. it comes to sports and away from carbonated soft drinks and also they're going to Coca-Cola. Coke's actually been outperforming Pepsi hmm. over the last six months and over the last year on Coke's turnaround plan, getting more aggressive on market share. So that's where the questions are going to be directed toward Indra Nui and Hugh Johnston on this earnings call. Did they just launch a big marketing campaign and also um, seltzer? I thought that was supposed to be a big yeah, help sparkling, to them. Sparkling, sparkling I yeah, say. beverages. And actually their water category has been taking market share away from Aquafina, but some of the others on that front. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.